So if you had any tips, Louis, for, I guess, future young athletes, what what would you say? Look, I'd say um, it might be a bit cliche, but yeah. you don't underestimate yourself. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I did a lot of talks for the Wheat Bix Kids Triathlon. Okay, yeah. Um, after the Com Games. And one of the things I would say to the kids is um, put your hand up if you think you can make the Olympics. And... Only about two kids would put their hand up. Really? How many kids? Yeah, you know, out of a, a school of, yeah. you know, 200 kids. Mm. And then I'd say, well, you know, put your hand up if you've trained like an Olympian. Yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> <laughs> that all for the hands up? Yeah. Well, because that's just a doubt. Like no yeah. one no one at a school level has trained like an Olympian. No. So how do they know they can't make it? Yeah, that's a good point. Um, so th- it's a doubt that's put in our minds mm. from an early age. Yeah. That you, you're not good enough or, you know, yeah. and I've seen a lot of people who I would say have oodles of talent, mm. not make it. And I've seen people who I would say don't have much talent, make, make it. it. And, um, I guess the mental, it's a mental belief thing. is, is it's massive. a mental belief mm. and how much you want it, you know? Yeah. Um, so that's the biggest thing I would say, yeah. you know, unless you've trained like Olympian, you don't know that you can be one. Yeah. And I think we hear that all the time, you know, like people, underestimate themselves but i guess no one's really explained why i think you put that absolutely yeah. perfectly and as a coach I, I often say to my athletes you know running is a sequence of movements yeah and it's no different to dancing mm. if you can perfect the movements yeah you will run well yeah um if you can like if you see someone on the dance floor mm. and they know how to dance yeah. you can tell yeah they know how to dance yeah right because they've done it over and over mm. and over again and they know what they're doing. The same with running. So, and it's the same with running. Running is something that we learn from, um, we we teach ourselves. Mm. No one says, you know, you, you often hear people say to primary school kids, oh, he's a runner or he's not a runner or yeah. he's not. Just making assumptions. But they've just taught themselves. Mm. No one's really taken them through this, the sequence of movements that makes them a runner. Yeah. It doesn't mean they can't do it. It's a good point. So, um you can reconstruct someone's movement yeah. to be what you want it to be. Mm. And that's the most important thing for anyone to understand that you can change your style. You can change a lot of, if you want to, it's not, yeah. it doesn't always have to come naturally. Yeah. And is that what you say to, obviously you coach now, is that what you say to the people you coach and yeah. just to keep yeah. at it? So and... like some people you see with a huge amount of talent mm. and you don't have to, you don't have to teach them that no. much. You, it's more a mental thing. Yeah. Because often the people that have that talent, everything's come very easily to mm. them. So they probably lack a little bit of toughness. It, it, Whereas the people yeah. that have done it a bit tougher and they want to be there because mentally they're telling themselves to be there. Yeah. So you might have to work a bit more on their style and on, on um, changing their movement, mm. but um, you can still do it. And yeah. it, there has to be a trick to like changing someone's mental... I guess belief, because if someone doesn't believe that they can make it, it must be really tricky. How do you go about that? It is tough. And um, I've always been a big believer in what I would call goosebump mo- moments. Mm, yep. um, so moments that give you goosebumps and moments that give you adrenaline and endorphins. Yep. And, you know, that's what gives me the most joy when I run. Yeah. Um, so it's trying to get that to happen for someone else yeah. isn't easy. Mm. So um, I often think of ways and I ask them, you know, what's given you goosebumps? What's that thought that gives you goosebumps? Yeah. And I try and replicate that within a run to make them experience yeah. that feeling. That's smart. Yeah. Put it like practical, put them into it. Yeah. Yes. So oh, I believe running's a lot of emotion. Mm. And, um, you know, I often give the example of like effort. So I was running against... Kenyans and Tanzanians and they were running for family and yeah. they were running for a lifestyle that they could drag them out of poverty. Yeah. Massive. And what was I running yeah. for? I was running for a gold medal that yeah. might sit in my drawer yeah. and I might be able to pull out and show people. It's yeah. very shallow. Yeah. There's not a lot of depth in that. Yeah. So it's about getting something special out mm. of it. And um, when someone experiences something emotional, 
then it becomes extremely powerful. Yeah. And um, and it's different for everyone. If someone has a different meaning for running, you have to adapt differently, which is important as well. I think you hit the nail on the head. Yeah, there. that's right. Yeah. yeah. So um, it's it's hard to extract that out of athletes. But for me, a lot of coaches focus on training. But training is only a very small part of it. You know, the mental side of it and why you're running and what's going to make you run better than your opponent yep. is as important if not more mm. important yeah because yeah 